Hi, this is Mark Lonergan, and this is video number two of the BTU Teacher Portfolio Project. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of how to get into and how to navigate around Google Sites. If you've used Google Sites before, then you probably won't need to watch this video. And I'll try to be quick. Uh, before watching this video, it will be most helpful if you have your own copy of the tutorial of the um, portfolio template. Sorry, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you don't have your own copy of it, you can email us at btuportfolio at gmail.com and we will send a copy to you. I'm going to go over where can I find the Google Sites. The easiest next step is going to be to go in your email and you'll get an email that says click here to open. Once you do that, you'll be right into Google, your Google site. But if you don't get that, you need to find Google Sites another way. So I'm going to show you how to find Google Sites. You can start in your email or your Google Drive or any place um, that is part of the Google Suites. And it should have this box up at the top, which is the Google Apps menu. If I click on that um, three by three gray squares, I will see a list of other apps that are available through our Google, Google Suite. And one of them is Sites. Now, if you don't see Sites, you can scroll down and scroll down and keep scroll up, scrolling down until you see even more from G Suite. Uh, and then you should be able to find it there. And once you've used it a time or two, it should show up in your menu. When I click on Sites, it takes me to the doorway of Google Sites. You can see I've been working on a lot of different portfolios. The one that you have at the top should be your copy of the teacher portfolio. So your next step is to click on that. And I've got two copies of one, so I'm going to close one. Now the next thing you want to do, or the first thing you want to do when you get into your copy of the template is to rename it. And there's three different places for your portfolio to be named. The one on the bottom where it says My Digital Portfolio, that's what the name that will appear on the screen. So you might, you can keep it as is, that's totally fine, or you can change it to um, your own name. The one at the top, this is the name of the file on your Google Drive. So if you want to be able to find it, something that will be easy for you to find instead of copy of, I changed mine to Mark Lonergan Teacher Portfolio. And then this one in the middle is, um, I think that's what's used to make the web address. And so this can be similar to either one of them, and this will um, be compressed a little to make the actual address um, for your website. So right now, I'm just going to call it short and sweet, Lonergan Portfolio. Um, I'm going to show you how to save and publish for the first time, and then how to get help if I'm stuck. So how do we save and publish for the first time? Unlike your Google Documents, you need to um, save before your um, changes. It doesn't save automatically for you. Um, so if you want, if you make changes to your template, you always have to hit publish before it will be viewable to your audience. You hit publish and let's see what happens this first time. It says, do you want to do Lonergan portfolio? It's taken this second middle title there and compressed it with no spaces. And for me, I think that's okay. Um, so I'm going to click publish. And I can always come back and change that later if I'm not completely happy with it. Um, and then I'm all set. To see what it looks like, I can go into this preview mode and just get a quick glimpse of what my website will look like now. Exit preview. Nice thing about preview mode, we'll talk about this more, but it lets you see what your website might look like with different sizes for iPhone or iPad or 
something that's that size. Um, so I'm going to exit the preview. And the last thing I wanted to do is show you how to get some help, at least on the Google sites. Um, first thing is undo. If you make a mistake, you can always undo it. The second thing is to be able to, um, whenever I get stuck on something with Google Sites, I Google it. I type in, how do I edit, um, crop a picture in Google Sites? And it will give me some resources. Usually that's my best first move. But in addition to that, there's also a help feature that is right next to the publish button. There's three dots for more. If I click on that, one of the things is help. And it will take me to a help community, community that is specifically about the Google Sites. Now, one thing that is interesting to note is that Google Sites had a big update about three or four years ago. So if you get any tips on Google or on the site's help menu that are older than 2016, they may not apply to the current product. So please look for help that is as current as possible. Um, other thing you can do if you get stuck, you can always email us. Um, our website is btuportfolio at gmail.com. Thank you for joining for this episode, and next time we'll talk more about how to change the layout and the colors and the theme of your template. Thanks for watching.